Hi, I'm Lenny, and in this video, I'm going to discuss Coming Together, Standing Up to Racism, which was a documentary which aired on CNN June 6, 2020. The documentary is an hour long, but this was also on public television with commercials, so you figure it's about 40 minutes if you take the commercials out. The special was hosted by CNN anchors Van Jones and Erica Hill, and also features Elmo, Elmo's dad, Big Bird, Gabby, Rosita, and others from Sesame Street. The reason for this documentary is to address the issues that are going on right now in the real world. Black lives, Black Lives Matter, the protests, the peaceful protest, the non-peaceful protest, the police, George Floyd, his murder, everything that's going on right now. Not only do adults have questions and concerns about what's taking place, kids are aware of what's going on and kids have questions just like adults and their questions are valid. The great thing about this documentary is it addresses racism. That's a topic that's going to be important to me that's a topic that's important to my family and loved ones. That's a topic that is important to others out there. I watched this documentary and I watched it with my wife and I'm a minority and I lived through this already, but I was very curious how this was going to handle the questions and the tough topics. I'm not going to give this documentary a rating. It's too important for that. And if I did, it'd be a high rating anyway. It was really well done. Families and their children video conferenced in their questions regarding to the situations that are going on out there right now, to people that are doctors, people that are, do ethnic studies, all sorts of different people. Another reason why I find this documentary so important and highly recommend the documentary is if you're like myself, you have a lot of non-minority friends. You have a lot of white friends and maybe those friends don't know how to start the conversation of racism and what you're going through, what I'm going through as a minority. And that's why I highly suggest this documentary. If you have black friends, if you have minority friends, and you don't know how to begin the conversation of racism, I do not say this in a condescending matter, I say this in all truthfulness, watch this documentary but at least make the effort to start the conversation. The documentary begins with Elmo asking his dad what is up with all the protests going on in New York right now, what's taking place, what are the protests for, what is Black Life Matters, what is the reason for a protest? And Elmo's dad lets him know that protests happen when people disagree. Protests happen when there's something so large, so broken, something that's such a big problem that needs to be addressed, this is when protests happen. And the protests here circle around racism, and Elmo doesn't understand what racism is. So this documentary goes about describing what racism is. Here's a sample of some of the questions that were asked. They're great questions. With all the contributions that blacks have made to the world, why are blacks still treated so badly? If people marched in the 1960s, why are people, why are blacks marching in 2020 for the same issues and problems that they marched for in the 60s? If it's the police job to protect and to serve, why would police officers try to hurt me? Who do we call when the police are the ones being unsafe? What do you do when someone says something racist to you? How do you respond? How should I respond? How do I stop racism and still stay safe? How do you answer why black lives matter if all lives matter when you're the only black kid in your class? That question's a hard one and I feel for the kid that asked that question because that was me, my time through elementary, through high school. Why do people have different skin color? What is the reason for that? How did that start? If I'm a white kid and I have black friends, should I wait till my black friends approach me to have a conversation or 
should we approach them about it? I admire that this documentary addressed what white privilege is and white privilege is not saying that white people, people who are not colored, not minorities, do not have a difficult life, that they don't have trials and tribulations of their own. White privilege is not saying that. The documentary addressed why empathy and action are so important. A great documentary, it's told with Sesame Street characters and of course, real life people. There's real doctors, real mayors on there, real professors. It addresses what we are going through at this time and what we have been going through for hundreds of years. Definitely worth watching, especially if you have children and you want to address the subject and you don't know how. Especially if your friends of minorities and you're not a minority yourself and you don't know how to begin a conversation. I'm an adult and I watched this and I took something away from it. I think everyone can take something away from this. We have now come to the interactive part of this video. If you think this video is worthy of thumbs up, please feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see others like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the corner and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for your time and thank you for allowing me the chance and the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. I greatly appreciate it. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.